Now, if you have variable specific heat, you want to account for the variable specific heats. You still have an ideal gas and you're undergoing an isentropic process. You must use the air tables or you, you should use the air tables. Otherwise, how are you going to? There's one other way to do it, but it's a lot of work. If you have an analytic expression for C sub P as a function of temperature, you can do an integral, but it's a pain. Somebody's already done the work, put it into the air tables. So just a reminder, here is your ideal gas properties for air. So as a function of temperature, you have enthalpy, internal energy, and S naught. That's that low pressure entropy value. And then you have this extra two columns. They apply only when delta S is zero, isentropic. And you have this P sub R and B sub R parameters. And so if you're undergoing an isentropic process, from maybe P1 to P2, the ratio of the actual pressures is equal to the ratio of this PR evaluated at state two and PR evaluated at state one. That's how you would use this information in that column for an isentropic process. Likewise, if you're undergoing an isentropic process, how would you use V sub R? Well, V2 divided by V1 is equal to V2R divided by V1R.